In this video, I'll be showing you how to batch rename files on Linux using a really great program called KRename. So I have all these nature photos and I want to rename all of them to nicer names, but you can see on default, my phone just renames them with these different numbers. So it would be tedious to go through and rename all of them, so that's where KRename comes in. Now most Linux distributions will have a software center or a software manager, so if you go to your software manager or software center, you can just search for a KRename, and I just downloaded the KRename Flathub. So now you can just open up KRename and you can click right here to add some files. Then you can just click and drag and drop in the photos and then what I'll do is press Control A to select all the photos and then I will click on open and it's going to open up all the files. So now that we've added in the photos we can click over here on destination and I usually just leave this set to rename input files. That'll rename the original files that we've added. However for example you could choose the copy files to destination folder and it's going to save them in a new folder. So you could click on this file icon right here you could choose some file on your computer and then that way when you rename all the files instead of it renaming the original files it's going to copy them and put them in that folder but I'll just leave this to rename input files now over here on the plugins tab I really have never used the plugins I just don't really find any need for it and I don't really know how it works but I've never need to use the plugins so let's now click over here on file name now on file name there are two different types there's advanced file name and simple file name now I pretty much always just use the simple file name but I'll just show you kind of what the advanced file name does so for example, here on the template, I could just type in like nature photos. So now you can see here's the original file name. So it's just those different numbers, but then here's the renamed file. So you can see it's called nature photos. Now, right over here, there's this functions button. And if you click on the functions button, you might need to like click here to drag it out, but you can see there are some different functions and it's going to tell you what each one is going to do. So for example, if I just click on this one here, which is that money symbol, if I just add this, it's going to add the money symbol right here. And what this is going to do because the advanced file name is going to add the original file name at the end of the new file name and there's a bunch of different functions here you can look through these and use them if you want to you can see there's going to be a description for what each one does but I really don't use these so I'm just going to get rid of the template here just get rid of that and I'm instead going to use the simple file name because I like this a lot better so there's a prefix which is going to be the beginning and there's the suffix which is going to be the end so here on the prefix you could turn this to a number if you want a number to be at the very starting of the name or you could also choose the date if you want it to use today Today's date. I'm going to keep it blank and I'm going to instead type in nature photos. So just type in nature photos. Then what I can do on the suffix, which is going to be the end, I can choose again either a number or a date. So I like to choose number. So now it says sit nature photos one, two, three, and so on. And I also like to hit the space bar here to add a space at the end. So now it says nature photos one, nature photos two, and so on. Now here on the file name, if you just use this to use original name, you can see again it's going to use the original name and it's going to put it here at the very end. Or there's also a few other settings that you can choose like converting to uppercase or lowercase. I don't really like to use this though so I'm just going to leave this at custom name so there's no extra original name there. Now here on the extension again I just leave this on the default but for example you could capitalize it so now the J is going to be capitalized. You could convert to uppercase so now the JPEG in the file name is all going to be uppercased. But again I just like to use original extension and also if you do want to use those advanced functions you can click here on those icons and it's going to give you the advanced functions but I'm just going to click on finish and now it's just finished there and now you can see it's renamed all of them so nature photos one two and so on and then if you want to you can rename more so you can restart krename or just close the program so that's how you can use krename on Linux a very useful program for renaming lots of files so this really speeds up the process and just makes it so much easier to rename a bunch of files at once so I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching